Hey, in this video I'll show you what the Figafi tool can do with regards to testing EDFACT and X12 messages. So EDFACT is, or EDI is really an important part of a lot of companies and the business because this is where all the volume deals are with all the suppliers and partners or customers. And it is so vital to the business and probably, I don't know, 25, 50% of your uh, volume is going through EDI. So you need to really be sure it is working. Um, and it is often fully automated. So you're just sending out documents if something goes wrong. It will take some time for you to figure out what's actually going wrong and be able to fix it. And because of this volume, it can be challenging to, to catch up with in, in a normal speed. Um, you, yeah, and it's difficult to test because there is a large volume data, large variance between these things. Um, and then some of the things that can happen is after an upgrade of the PI uh, or a change to a message mapping, some of your existing cha challenges or integration may not work. And that's why you need to be able to test them. So with the FIGAF, we have created a tool that actually enables you to test um, data really good. So we built it original just to test the XML um, and create test cases on your PIPO scenario. And what it does is it takes data from your productive system, your productive instance, and are then able to run them on your development QA system. And the reason for why this is important is because uh, we know that the data in your productive system is validated and we know it's not causing any problems. So if we want to try to mimic that as much as possible, and that's why we're taking data from your productive system, but it could also come from other uh, sources if you wanted to use it. Um, with our tool, you have an ability to group this into message types. So if you know that uh, we have EDFACT X12 uh, messages that you're grouping in it, or partner numbers. So if you have 90% of your orders is with one partner, you don't want to test all of those 90%. Uh, you just want 10, 15 of those messages and all the others you would assume would be really similar to, to those messages you already have. So that's why the grouping makes a lot of sense. Uh, it enables you to compare document and also ignore segments that you know are changing. Uh, so it could be the, the time uh, quantity or something else that you know would change per or order number that you know would change per uh, instance. And then obviously we support the comparison of, of XML. So that's your incoming IDOC into the ERP system, X12, Edifact, EI Income, um, and those two are similar. But let me just show you how easy it is to create a test case. So here we have the Figafia T tool, and what we'll search for is we'll search for our invoice scenario. And here we got one here, and we can then record messages. And record messages would then would create uh, of download data from your productive system and we will then select the number of messages that we want. If we want to specify anything about partners, uh, so let's just, or what kind of orders we can use XPath to get data in from, from here. Um, so this is our invoice document, we will just create it. And now we will start collecting this messages. So it will go modify the communication channel, add a small module into it that will then be able to register these changes. So next up is we just need to process these messages and that will just take a little while. So now we have processed these messages and we can see we have received two inbound and two outbound messages. We can create a test case based on these data. So we'll just create a test case. And we, where we want to, how we want to map this, we just want it on our DPO, which is our development system. But you could set up mapping between your productive and your development system, so it would know how these ran. 
So what we can do now is we can just run it on any other systems. We'll just select DPO here because that is where we have all the data for this scenario. And this also means you can run the test case on any of your PI systems. So now we have run it. We can go in and see our results. So view results. And here we can see there were some errors in these and it, let's just dig into what these differences are. So we can see we have ignored up here. But this PC element is actually being changed and it seems like it's some timestamp. So what we can do is we can just add an expression here. Um, and then next time we run it, um, we would then expect it to be run successfully because now we have said ignore this element so we know that that is is supposed to change so we'll just view results and we can see now comparison is successful but what about when you're getting message in so as you can see here what we were looking at was the idoc or the um, the edifact document. If we're getting an edifact document, then it will be sent to the splitter and we want to validate that the splitter works and everything in that process is, is correct. So uh, for that, we have a scenario. We'll find a scenario. We have our, so we have our splitter scenario. We don't want to record on that one, but we want to record on the other one here. So we'll record messages. We'll just add them to the same testing suite. Test demo three, and we'll just add two. So right now we will then need to process this and it will start the recording of these messages. And then we just need to, to send some messages into this. So now we have processed messages on the split and we can then see our payloads here. We can go in and see what are the incoming messages and if we just view and edit here, we can see that this is our edifact document that's being processed here. So now we have processed this uh, document and we have created our test for it. So we'll just create a test case on this and we just want it only on DPO. And one thing we need to be do before we do this is to go in edit our test configuration so we want to use the splitter and here we want to use the one that is called um, central mastercard mastercard splitter so it needs to send the messages into this one as with an xi3 message it will then be so in here it will be split and sent to the correct uh, communication channel if our test works correctly and that is one of the things we want to be able to actually test so here we have our test cases and we got our test case 3 here so let's just try to run this so there are multiple different ways so here we are on the specific test case but we can also look at where it is actually being processed and in which template we have. So we have our result here, it's unfinished. Um, and we can see there's arrows in. And what are the differences here? So it's a EDI timestamp uh, element that's just being changed and we can obviously ignore it, run it again, and then we would see that this is working. So we have a lot of uh, resources on this. We also have the ability to anonymize data if we have outgoing uh, invoices or uh, XML documents with, uh, with financial, with HR data that is confidential and you don't want to be processed in your test system, then you can use this as a way of handling these uh, test cases. Obviously, you may also say that there is the SAP testing suite and we want to be able to use that. Um, the, the SAP testing suite was uh, released with 7.5 SP14 this uh, spring and it was then updated in SP15. Um, it has some, some challenges, um, it, so it does not support modules, so you cannot test how the modules are performing. So in EDI uh, 
testing, you would not be able to, to compare and see how it's actually able to uh, convert the message from uh, flat file to uh, XML. And that's really important if you have created specific mappings or if SAP is changing the mapping uh, configuration. It does not support uh, ED Factoring X12 comparison. I think it support uh, text. But uh, in a lot of uh, EDFact documents, it would be not really beneficial because you have all of these uh, differences in it. Uh, and it does not support the EDI separator, obviously, because it also does not support modules. Um, and then one thing I believe is that it's pretty difficult to actually find all the different test cases and scenarios that you have. Um, and that could make it a lot more difficult to actually run all the scenarios that you know has been affected. With the FICAF tool, we're able to, to, to split out all the different orders and documents into known groups and be able to run them um, once you know something has been changed. So uh, yeah, go try the, the FICAF tool out. Uh, go to FICAF.com forward slash IoT. Uh, download it. There's a free trial that will actually allow you to get started, try to, to configure some integrations and some test cases and see how it works. And best of all, it also has a lot about uh, change management that allow you to run a lot more scenarios. So go check it out. Thank you.